Hi and welcome back to PDQPD. If you've watched my PDQPD videos over the course of time, you know that I am a big fan of Google Keep and I've done a couple of uh, sessions here on the different things you can do with Keep. And just in the last week or so, there's been a new development with Keep that's going to make it even more valuable to those of us that use it. What that is, is Google has determined that Keep will now be one of their core apps and they've integrated it with Google Docs. I want to show you today how to use that. Now this kind of assumes that you're already using Google Keep and if you're not, you probably want to go back and check out some of those earlier PDQPD videos. But to integrate that, you see I have here on the screen a Google Doc open. I'm going to go up here to Tools and when I click on Tools you see that there is now a new line item here that says Keep Notepad. When I click on the Keep Notepad, my Google Keep will open along the right hand side. And you see all the notes. I use Keep for everything from grocery lists to um, book lists and that's what you see here is a book list. Now what's cool is with this integration and with this open here on the edge, you can drag information from this column directly into a Google Doc. Before I do that though, like I said, everything on Keep that you see initially when opening it up is everything that I've saved and some of it might have to do with this particular document and some may not. I have assigned labels in Google Keep and I can use those labels now to kind of narrow down what I have in my window. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go up here to the search tool and then I'm going to type in one of the names of um, my labels and in this case I'm going to type in meeting notes and when I hit enter you see that notes that I have taken from different meetings appear here in the right hand column so this is what I'm going to use for now but let's say I wanted to make a document where I included notes from my Google Keep meetings I have selected my cursor and I have a couple of options here if I wanted to bring this entire list of notes from this note called NQ meeting, I could simply click and drag this directly into the point in the document and it brings in all of those notes. And it looks like it's formatted very similarly to the rest of my document. So that's the way to bring in the entire note. Now I'm going to use my back arrow to get rid of that for now. The second way, which accomplishes the same thing, I've selected where I want this to be entered. And I'm going to go to the three dots and I'm going to select Add to Document and it will add this entire content area again just like before. And again I'm going to select the back. Now another way, if you want to add only part of a note, you can go into the note itself and you can copy and paste what you would like to bring into your document directly. And it only brings in the part that you wanted to bring in rather than bring in the entire note. Let me get out of here. You can also do the same thing. I'm going to bring up another list here and this is um, when I am on the internet looking at articles a lot of times I want to save an article and I can save it directly into my Google Keep and I have made a label on those. So this brings up all of my notes that are under my label web article. I'm going to use the same process. I'm going to select that note to make it show the entire contents and I could bring the whole thing in but in this case I want to bring only this part of the information and it brings that in as a link. As soon as I hit the return, it recognizes that as a link. You can bring it in from the keep into the document directly or another way that you could use this, and this would come in handy when you're doing grading, is if you had labels with different kinds of comments, maybe for an ELA assignment where you wanted to have grammar comments or form comments or things like that. You know that when you select some text in a document, it brings up the option for add a comment when you click the add a comment then you could bring in by copying and pasting you could bring in from keep directly into the comment 
and it will recognize that as a link as well. There's a couple ways that you can use Google Keep um, with your Google Docs, and this integration is going to really make the um, Google Keep app even more valuable than it was before. And as I said, this is one of my favorites. Feel free to check out my earlier PDQPD videos on how to use Keep in general. Hope this is helpful to you, and have a great day.